stadium, the stadium, the ultimate man cave, the ultimate spot for all things manly. And we got here the owner himself, Mr. Terrence Bunch C. Mr. Bunch, what's going on with you, sir? What's going on, man? How's everybody doing? Doing all right, doing all right. All right, so in my black universe, man, we're all things black-owned companies, man. And uh, my dude Johnny from Black Dollar, North Carolina, he, he hit me up. He said, bro, you got to check out the stadium. He said, you are the spot for all things manly. And, brother, I, I have to agree. I, I looked around. We're going to show people some of the footage, and this is the man spot. Now, why did you decide to open this up? Uh, the pandemic hit last year. I went through some challenges and some transition on my job. And after that, I was pretty much determined to never allow anybody else to have control over my income and my ability to take care of my family. Okay. So I was given this vision about two years ago, and I guess now I had the opportunity to bring it to fruition. So I pulled my team together. My wife, of course, she's my biggest cheerleader, my biggest support. This was so We put our heads together, and then after we got the lounge up and running, which is her store upstairs, we uh, put everything together and started this. So. My grand opening was April the 3rd. We've literally only been open for two months. Okay. And now this is a result of what you see. We have 22 black-owned businesses in this one store. I also have a lounge area in the back where guys can come for a monthly membership. You can play pool, PS5, uh, have car tables. I have co-working spaces where you can come and work remotely during the day. And you can also rent out the back for private events. So as you said, man, it is the major one-stop shop for men where you can come and get everything you need, think of it as a man cave inside of the mall. That's what I like to refer to it as. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now, your wife, she has the lounge. That's for, that's for women. Yep. So women don't have to feel like they're left out. What was it about this spot that, or this idea, the concept that you was like, you know what, we, we have to have this? Because you said it was a concept, you said you, you had the vision two years ago, and you didn't move on it. Absolutely, yep. Until the pandemic. So what was about, what, what was going on at the time where you said, you know what, this would be a dope, smart, healthy space for us to have. Just the fact that guys kept coming to me asking for it. And when there's a need, people have a way of letting you know. And I, after I sat down and thought about it, I'm like, you know what? Guys have nowhere where they can go inside the mall where we can shop and get everything that we need. And we definitely don't have anywhere where we can come and hang out. Most of the time you see a lot of the fellows sitting in the massage chairs, holding their wives' bags, if we even come to the mall. Because most of us don't even like to shop with our ladies. So now we have a reason to come where we can come be amongst other brethren and just kind of bond, kind of connect and have fun while doing it in a safe space. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, why the move to have black owned vendors? Uh, the biggest thing with that is my wife and I truly believe, well, we, we use this term called small for now because that's the way we started out. So we wanted to give other people the opportunity to be able to showcase their products and services in a mall location without having to deal with the, the overhead of having their own store. So think of it as a collaborative consignment, so to speak, where people okay. just in our community can come together and we can keep our black dollars in our community by by contributing and feeding one another. So is it only local businesses right now or or if somebody let's say somebody's out of town, but they, they're real good about make sure they keep you in stock. Could they reach out to you and say, hey, look, I got this product. Absolutely. I have some vendors or brands, I'm sorry, represented that do not live in North Carolina. So if you're out of town and you're looking to maybe bring your products into the store, we're definitely open to that. And I can definitely speak with you in more detail about it. Now, will they reach you, like, say, via email or um, or social media? What's the best way to contact you about that? Uh, the best way could be through the Instagram page. It's the Stadium NC, Or you can email me, info at thestadiumnc.com. And I'll make sure I post both of them below. Thank you. Now, final question. Five years from now. The stadium NC. Will there be a stadium DFW? Will there be a stadium NY? Will there be a stadium uh, LA? You know, is it is it just going to have the NC name, or will the, will the NC just be a designation for what state it's in? Uh, that's going to be a designation for the state that it's in. Uh, we're already having conversations about moving it around to other states. So five years from now, the plan is to definitely have multiple locations. So this is just the hub or the main start. And then eventually we're going to branch out and go to some other areas. So you will see more of the stadium. Trust me. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, hey, look, I don't have any more questions. I'm actually going to get down back here at this uh, the, the man cave area. We're going to go on the PS5. So for fellas who, like, you can't get a PS5, you can't find one, get your membership. I'm going to post uh, all that information below. Get your membership. Get up here. Get away from, you know what I'm saying, from the wife for a little bit. Get away from your girlfriend. Get away from your kids for a little bit. And be in a safe space where you can do what men do. Get your game up. There's all kind of dress clothes, streetwear, casual wear. You can get your game up, get your style up, and do it with the pride knowing that it's black on. 
Absolutely. And, and we're building our community. Come check me out. I'm at 4325 Crabtree Valley Mall, Glenwood Avenue, Suite 1089. We're located downstairs on the first floor, directly beside Pottery Barn. And that's all I got to say. Until next time, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the Stadium NC. Come to the Crabtree Valley Mall. Come to the Crabtree Valley Mall. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. Until next time, peace and blessings. All right. See y'all soon. Let go, let go, let go.